hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix if you are experiencing black screen when launching weathering waves can be due to several factors including graphics drivers issue incompatibility settings or corrupted game files here are some steps to troubleshoot and fix the black screen problem first step we need to update your graphics drivers guys Outdated or corrupted graphics driver can cause display issues. To update your graphics driver, you just need to open up GeForce Experience. If you not have installed GeForce Experience, then you just need to check my video description for this download link. For AMD users, you need to open the AMD software. Select the Drivers tab and select Check for Updates. If you have any available update listed over here, then you just need to update it and make your graphics card up to date, guys. After doing this, just to close stuff here. The second step, we need to adjust in-game settings. To do this, you just need to open the weathering waves and press in keyboard escape key. And select the setting gear icon. And select the picture icon over here to open up graphics settings. In here, you need to lower the graphics settings uh, such as resolution, texture, quality, and effects. Uh, graphics quality set to low and screen mode set to window mode and resolution set to 1600 into 900. Select confirm and scroll down. Frame rate you can set to 60 or below. Shadow quality low, special effect quality low, and LOD BIOS low, capsule AO turn it on, wall metric fog turn it off, wall metric lighting turn it off, motion blur turn it off, and analyzing turn it off, V sync turn it off. After doing all these changes, you just need to close stuff here and relaunch the game and check if the problem solved or not the third step is to verify game files corrupted game files can cause display issues verifying the integrity of game files can fix this problem to do this you just need to open up epic games click on the three dot icon next to the weathering waves and select manage select verify and this will verify the game files after getting verified done, you just need to close stuff here. The fourth step is to disable overlays. Overlays from applications like Discord, Steam or Nvidia GeForce Experience can sometimes cause black screen issues. To disable that, you just need to open up Discord first. Select User Settings. You just need to scroll down on the left side and select a game overlay enable in game overlay you just need to turn it off guys after turning off just to close stuff here and next we need to disable steam overlay to do this open up steam click on the steam tab and select settings select in game and enable the steam overlay while in game you just need to toggle off after doing this just to close stuff here Next, you need to open up GeForce Experience. Go to search menu and type GeForce Experience and open it. Select the setting icon over here. And you can able to see the option in game overlay. You just need to toggle off, guys. After toggling off, you just need to close stuff here. And you can check if the problem solved or not. The fifth step is to update Windows. Ensure your operating system is up to date as updates can fix compatibility issues. To do this, go to search menu and type Windows Update. Comes up Windows Update Settings. Click on Open It. Select Check for Updates and if you have any available update listed or here, then you just need to update it and make your operating system up to date, guys. After updating your Windows, just to close stuff here. The sixth step, you need to check DirectX and Virtual C++ redistributables. Ensure that DirectX and Virtual C++ redistributables are up to date. 
download the latest DirectX and user runtime from the website you just need to check my video description for this link used in my video check the download option and download it and download and install the latest virtual C++ redistributables from this site scroll down depending on what type of bit you have click on the link and download it after getting download done you just need to install this both application and after getting installed done you need to restart your PC guys the seventh step is to set launch option to do this you just need to open up epic games click on the profile icon and select the settings you just need to scroll down you can able to see the weathering waves over here you just need to click on expand it and select check mark additional command lines arguments and now you just need to check my video description for this launch option used in my video copy the first one and paste it this will force the game to start in windowed mode and if this fails to launch then you just need to copy the second one and paste it this will remove the window border guys by following this step you should be able to troubleshoot and fix the black screen problem in weathering waves i hope this video helped you guys if the video helped you don't forget to leave a like guys you can also subscribe me and support me guys thank you